are special, we are awesome, we are family. We're full of love, we're full of life, we're a special, awesome family. We're a special, awesome family. It's our special, awesome family. Awesome. Good Friday morning, everybody. We are on the road, y'all. It is about 6.30. We dropped the guys off the airport. We did all the stuff with TS, uh, TSA and checking them in. Everything went incredibly well, um, except for Jace had a bit of a meltdown because he doesn't really understand. He's supposed to be, he thinks he's supposed to be at school, which, you know, he is, but... <laughs> He's flying for his new, you know, his trip. So he did okay after we reminded him that when he got there, he'd be going straight to school and then straight to his program and then back to his home. So he's okay. Um, he's fine. Um, he's going to miss me, though, of course. But tomorrow when we get there, we're going to take the boys home for dinner. We're going to take them out for a good ride for a while. Kind of, you know, just enjoy time with them and all that. So... We are officially on the road to New York. We are on the road. We are, we are. So, um, we decided to change our daughter Scarlett's, Scarlett's name because I can't say it right. And she hates it. Um, so, we decided to change her name to Candace. Um, it's just easier for all of us to say and she likes it better, so. Candace is her name. We call her Candy for short, but Candace is her name. Um, it's just better for us and better for her. So that's what we did. She's happy with it. We're happy with it. So yeah, we're on the road, guys. We are officially on the road, y'all. We are driving to Tennessee, New York. We actually will be going through Tennessee. We're going to be camping in Arkansas, though, I think. Um, because the only thing at the point he's like, babe, he goes, what we need to do is tonight about eight or nine, you know, um, camp out, you know, go to the campsite, just kind of hitch up to the water and everything in the, in the power, just kind of camp out for the night. Because the kids are going to need that structure. They're going to need a chance to run around and play. And yeah, of course he's right. We all know he's right. Um, so we're going to do that. And so... We're going to camp in Arkansas, and then in the morning, we're going to take off at about 4.30 from Arkansas and go straight to, to uh, New York. So, yeah, excited. Uh, we are ready to roll. We are excited. We're ready to go. The kids were pretty much ready this morning. Kyle was ha having a bit of a, a time, but he's okay now. Uh, but it was a bit of a, a, a rough start, but he's okay now. We're all okay. We're just driving along <laughs> we're just driving along and um from what uh the staff told me the boys are okay now they got on the plane got their way to blankets and they're okay now so woo that's relief um when you fly with children with autism it you you have to use tsa cares even if you're doing private play you have to use tsa cares because it gets you through everything you have to go through quicker you are the first to get through that. So, we did that. The boys got on the plane. They did okay. So, we're on our way. Y'all, we are headed out. Yes, we are. Um, so, we're excited about it. You know, a little nervous a little bit because leaving our home, leaving the home we love very much. But at the same time, we're excited because, you know, um, a lot of good things are going to be happening, and we're excited about that, but we're just like, ah! <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it to you guys. We're just like, we're a little nervous about it, but we're also very excited at the same time. It's just a lot. It's a lot going on. So, you know, when you have a family who have all special needs, you have to be prepared for everything. You know, with Peter, we have to have his vest, the suction machine, his um, oxygen, his BiPAP, his breathing treatment machines. 
you know, with Jonathan, and the same thing with Jonathan. With with Daniel, it's um, his bipap machine, his oxygen, uh, whatever you know he may need. So, with all with all of our kids, we have to have various products that we take with us. So, it's a lot. It's a lot. It also I was going to tell you guys also to be praying for the Hasselberger family. Their son, Daniel, who actually was the reason why my son got his name. He passed away this uh, yesterday. And I was really upset about it because, you know, he was a good kid. Hi, baby. He was a good kid, never hurt anybody. He never hurt nobody. And, hey, he got sepsis. We don't know how he got sepsis. We have no idea of any of it. And just very upset about him dying because they said he ended up on a ventilator and all kinds of stuff and they couldn't stop the you know the breathing problems he was having just weren't helping nothing was helping him and it's just hard when you have a child that's so severely affected and knowing that she lost him and that's just hard you could tell she was really heartbroken and I wish I could have just gave her a big old hug because I know it's hurting her right now. It's really hard. Um, for her. So pray for the Hasselberger family, pray for, for Daniel's family and, um, all that. So be praying for them. Um, yeah. So I'm, I was, Watching my YouTube as while we were driving this morning, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, that's just crazy. So, I got really upset, and I just started crying, because, you know, Daniel, our son Daniel, that's how he got his name, was from my French, you know, little boy. Not little boy, but her young name was how my son Daniel got his name. And, I'm just... I don't have words to speak how I really feel right now. It's just like, it's hard so bad for them and it's like you know you think about your family and what we've all been through this week it's just a lot and I feel bad for her because I know she's going through hell right now I just feel bad hey guys we're at a Amazon Alexa now we're at a stop right now getting some fresh water cause Kyle's having a meltdown he's just not a very happy little boy right now you want more Kyle? Okay. Get you some more, okay, baby? It's all right. He's just not happy right now. So Kyle's having a meltdown back here. Kyle, we had to pull over because he was such he was in such a bad meltdown. Kyle, it's okay, honey. So he's got his hands over his face, trying to bite his hand. Kyle. Kyle, it's okay. He's just not in a good mood. He's he's tired, which is one thing. He didn't sleep last night at all. He was up all, all night. So this is what happens when my child is up all night. You okay now, buddy? Kyle. You okay? Kyle? You okay now, Kyle? Hmm? You okay? It's okay, honey. I know, you just got frustrated. I get it. It's okay. You're okay, Kyle. He's just not having a very good day. It's just been really hard on him. And, you know, we're asking a lot of him, of any of our kids, to travel this long like this. So, you know, it's a lot. Hey, buddy. You okay now? Hmm? You okay? It's okay. You want some chips? Do you want chips? Huh? 
He's just a little bit shut down right now. I knew this was probably going to happen to somebody, and I knew it would probably end up being Kyle. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. Kyle. Can you talk to me? Do you, do you, Kyle? Look at Mama. Does Kyle want chips? Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, why are you referring to him in a third person? Sometimes that's what, how he identifies what he wants. Does Kyle want chips? Yes? Okay, I'll go get chips for Kyle. You okay now, Baba? You okay? There you go, buddy. And this is just sometimes what it takes for us to stop and to let him try to process everything or any of our kids, you know? It's just hard. They don't really understand everything yet, and it just takes time. Good job. That's better, huh, buddy? Excuse me. You doing good now? You feel better? Hmm? You feel better? Yes? Good boy. Thank you for communicating. And sometimes with Kyle, um, communication is like him signing how he feels. Um, sometimes we'll walk up and down the stairs of the, of the RV for a few minutes to kind of calm himself. And we have to allow time for that, which is probably what he's going to do here in a minute. Because that's what he does when he feels anxious and needs to stim or whatever he needs to do. And that's what he needs to do. Right, Kyle? YouTube now. This is what he does to process everything. This is, hi, there's Baba with him. Are you walking up and down the stairs? So we have to have time to allow him to do this for a minute to kind of calm himself. Because if you don't allow your child to stem to calm down or whatever he needs to do to calm down, it can be, oh, shoot me. It can be a disaster. And it it will be if you don't let them to calm, let, let them calm down. And I've learned from over the years, you know, you know especially needs well, they need that time. So, I just let him stand for as long as, I mean, if we don't get to Arkansas tonight, I'm not going to worry about it. He's doing what he has to do to call himself. Which I'm pretty sure we'll get to Arkansas, he just needs time to process, right? Him and Ezra are both doing the same thing, because Ezra was really starting to have a rough time of it all, too. But it's okay, alright? We'll be okay. So we're going to try to get back on the road in just a minute, try to get them calmed down a little bit. Ezra doesn't melt down as much, but he still has autism. He's still autistic. That's not... He didn't come out of autism. He still has autism. And this is his way of soothing himself because right now he feels overloaded. Ezra, you okay? Ezra, you okay, baby? I know, it's a lot to process, isn't it? Okay. We'll go back on the road when you're ready, okay? When you're ready, all right? Yeah. And just like that, we're back on the road, guys. He's okay. They processed it now. And it helped that we went and got an and out burger for lunch. <laughs> or not, you know. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, McDonald's, sorry. And I got myself a nice coffee. So, Finbar's driving now. We just switched drivers because, um... We're all tired, but <laughs> um, Finbar's driving now for a while, which is nice because uh, you know we've all uh, I've driven some, and I'm gonna drive mostly at night because that's that's my favorite time of, to drive is when the kids are like resting and everybody's tired and just kind of you know relax. So <clears throat> he's gonna drive. I'm gonna rest for a while and all of that. Um. And here's the stupid thing that happened. My stupid SE2020, or as I call it. YouTube. Um, my SE crappy crappy decided to uninstall YouTube. Then reinstall it. What the beep is that all about? Anyway, whatever. They're stupid. These these type of devices are just dumb. But um, Lonzo's still trying to finish his show. 
he had to do and so we're just he has a jetpack over here he's used to do the show us so it's fine and we're, we're all we're going is in good areas where his his jetpack will reach so he's fine um yeah. so we're just gonna be kind of resting a little bit and just kind of relaxing we're all pretty tired so we're all quite tired a long day a lot of you know things happening with our autistic kids um and then the loss of our friend daniel that's been really hard that's how my son actually got his name was from youtube so you know it's just hard about the Hasselbergers losing their son because daniel was and always will be you know the light of their lives and no, he's gone is really hard. Um, so yeah. Um, so anyway, we're just driving right along. There's really not much to tell you. We're just driving right along here. That's all I can really tell you is that we're driving. <laughs> driving along, driving along. So we have hit, we're, um, third Tennessee, so we're heading toward Arkansas, I reckon. But, um, we have, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good. We've had our struggles. I'm not going to say we don't have our struggles. That'd be a total lie. But we're doing good. We're, you know, the kids are okay. They're, uh, things are processed and it's in, you know, Kyle's got his snacks back there, so he's happier now. And that may have been what the problem was, that he needed something to snack on to help him process everything. So, um, when we stopped at uh, Duncan, uh, Rich got a slew of snacks at the store next door, so. They have snacks back there to bite on, you know, everything's okay, we can still drive on. You know, it's okay, we can still take a drive and drive on. Can still do this. Um, you know, we can still get miles under our belt and actually get this trip way underway before tomorrow. And then pick it up in the morning and drive the other like seven hours to get to New York. We're hoping we get pretty far tonight though. But it's getting a little later. Um, you know, so it's getting a little later. We stopped and got five guys for supper. They were happy about that. <clears throat> oh, you happy now, Kyle, baby? Huh? You went to five guys, didn't you? Yeah, he did. He loves five guys. This kid loves his five guys. He's rocking over there. <laughs> you happy now, buddy? And Ezra is obsessed with five guys. This kid. Could eat five guys every single day of the week and never sweat. He, he just could. Um, oh, God, you guys, I'm so tired. Um, we have been traveling since this morning. We're getting tired, but I just got myself an iced coffee and got a snack out of the cooler, so we're just truck keep on truck on trucking on you know that's all we can do guys is keep on trucking on and if we're happy to keep on trucking on then we can do that right so we're driving on and we've got quite a few miles under our belt <clears throat> we're in memphis tennessee right now we're heading toward arkansas and our goal is to hit the end of arkansas by tonight YouTube now. you know we're doing the best we can to get as much as we can under our belts for right now because the truth is it just feels good to you know do our drive as much as we can drive get everything done that we can and head home you know to our new home so we're enjoying it though i mean the thing is i don't want to rush it but i also don't want to um linger and linger because we have church on sunday morning trent's got to preach on sunday and um also um uh daniel's you know a couple of our kids are getting baptized you know so we have to we have a deadline we have to meet and 
I'm going to have to go to the BJ's because, um, or Costco or somewhere because we have to have some items, um, uh, that we're going to need for the kids to keep them happy. But, uh, hey Daniel, you doing good? Mm-hmm. Mommy? What? I hate that. Um, our friend Daniel goes bye-bye. I know, honey. It was really upsetting to Daniel because he loved um, that channel and he loved watching him every day and made him happy. Um, yeah, it's a lot. Uh, anyway. <sighs> I am so tired of y'all. I'm so like, ugh. But. Do my best, right? Try to take care of my kids and keep on riding. Um, so Finn Bar's driving now because I was, I was like, Ugh, I need to rest for a minute. So I took about a 45 minute nap. Rich is still back there sleeping. Lindsay's doing a show over here. Um, oh, are you done, babe? He said he got, got done early because he just couldn't. The internet wasn't Please stable. Oh! Decline. Decline. Answer call. But the Jesse Knuckles. Anyway, guys, so we're just heading to, um, as far as we can go, you know, I just got to take a seriously good long nap. It's like about 6.30. I took a good long nap and it felt super good to do that because I was just like, ugh, I was tired. So, um, that way I can work tonight and just drive as far as I can. We're probably going to stop, though, because I really want to work, but... At the same time, you know, Lonzie's right. We need to stop and let the kids, like, have a good night's sleep and all that good stuff. So we're going to probably do that here in a bit. <clears throat> because everybody's kind of tired of sitting in the car all day, or in the, in the bus all day, in the van all day, motorhome, whatever. So, uh, anyway, we're just going to do what we can do. Go from there. <clears throat> um... Lonnie's back there with his iPad, playing a game on his AR glasses over there. Hey, Lonnie. And um, all the other kids are just in different places in the motorhome. So I heard from uh, Jace and Creed and Robbie. They're doing great. They got to the group home. And they went to their program. They had a really good dinner tonight. They had uh, hamburgers and french fries. So they're happy. Which makes me happy because they're happy. Um, I asked DJ, I asked JJ, did he miss me? He said, yes, mommy, I miss you. Are you going to come to take me and Robbie and Creed out for pizza and ice cream? I said, yes, tomorrow. When mommy gets home, mommy come get you in. I'm going to tell you, though, I hope I can get a nap in before I do that because um, taking our kids out with requires a fully charged me. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be fully charged and not too tired. Um, that is the total plan, not to be too tired, not to be feeling overloaded or overwhelmed, just ready to go ready to do what I have to do, you know, so, that's the plan, um, that is what we're planning to do, is, is get some rest first, and then go pick up the kids, for a while, and go out for, for pizza, and ice cream, and go take a good long ride, and then take them back to their group home, and then us go home and crash, <laughs> so, um, I was gonna do an Instacart delivery, but, the only thing is, sometimes when you do Instacart, you get things that you, you didn't ask for. Things that that don't even work well for your family. And I can't... Right now, I just... Uh, I don't even want to think about it. Um, Sarah... Doug and Sarah came in. Doug uh, said her, him and Sarah might could go to BJ's for me and get what I need. But we'll see if that really ends up happening. Because the last time she said she would, she didn't. And um, I ended up coming home exhausted from a long trip and then had to go to, to BJ's anyway. So 
we'll see what really ends up happening, you guys, because I'm just like, I want to relax. I want to do nothing but relax. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So we'll see what really ends up happening with that because it's probably not going to happen like that. Because they, they get to doing their own thing and, you know, they're probably going to be sitting, like, sitting out in the morning. So I'm not thinking that they're going to be there when we get home. They usually aren't. So, yeah, that's what it is right now. Hey, guys, we made it to Arkansas. And it's about 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. We made it to Arkansas. Or actually, toward the end of Arkansas, actually. So, we've only got a few more hours to drive, guys. Um, the kids have been fed. They've had their meds. We're exhausted. <laughs> but the kids seem fine, so... Um, Kyle again had to walk up and down the stairs a little bit, but he's okay. So, we built a fire, and we made some burgers, because we were still kind of hungry, so we made some more burgers on the grill, on the, uh, fire up there. <laughs> fire burgers, yeah. So, um, <sighs> we're pretty tired, guys. We're pretty, pretty wore out tonight, but it's okay. You know, we're just... Taking the road as it goes. <laughs> the best we can do, you know. Taking the taking the ride for what it is. You know, we knew this was gonna be a long ride, so we're not really worried about it. You know. The kids do have school on Monday, so we have to be there before that. Thanks, babe. Want to hand me some chips. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, honey. So we're just kinda tired, but you know what? It's okay. You know, we'll be fine. But we'll be finishing it tomorrow, you know. So we'll take off in the morning super early. Um, Tavish is laying down. He's already tired. Him and Casey already went to bed, so. Um, Lindsay and I are still up and all that. We're to DD just, they're hanging out right now, too. They're probably going to be going to bed soon, too. Can we drink, baby, please? Thank you, honey. So we're just here watching the cars go by down here at the campground. Enjoying that. Oh, gosh. You guys are just like... Oh, oh, oh. So it won't be long for us because we all have to get some sleep so we can hitch up in the morning and take off. <clears throat> But, uh, it's a beautiful night. Not, I mean, it's cold, but not super cold. Not too bad. But it is nice to be able to just relax for a minute and all that. Kids had a wonderful time earlier running around, so that was good. Mail now. Amazon. So, yeah, it was a good day. It was a really good, happy day. Anyway, guys, I know this is kind of short, but I'm going to say goodnight and get some sleep. I'm exhausted, y'all. I'm going to say goodnight. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and we'll check in tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Good morning, everybody. It is day two on our trip to New York. We are halfway there. I am driving this morning. We are halfway there, y'all. I am so excited because... Oh, this journey has been long. Well, let me tell you, it has been long. You guys, <clears throat> we are halfway there. So excited and ready for this to just be, you know, ready, for go, ready to go for a new home. Big shout out to a few people. My friend Anton over at Anton's Life. Or, uh, I don't know, I just, uh, yeah, is it Anton's Life? Um, well, he has two channels, but I'll let him kind of decide which one he wants me to tell you about but anyway my friend Anton, my friend Garrett and my friend Scott who makes uh, so many sounds now possible that I now have okay, thank you bro I, I should almost call him my co-producer, well a lot of you guys my co-producers because you guys are really good about sound and engineering and good stuff like that so a lot of you guys love y'all so much big shout out to my baby go sub to him over at the blind coffee man yeah, yeah. Anyway, we are driving. We're headed home. Ugh, it's been a long road. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's been a very long road. Because... YouTube now. YouTube now. Using 
And it's been a very long road. A long uh, couple of days. We've had a lot going on. Um, and all that. So, we've got a lot of preparing for next week. Because we've got a lot of appointments and therapies. And a new thing that our kids are going to be doing. Which is really awesome. I got this idea from a friend of mine. Who, um, her son, um, her her special reborn son um, she was going to do this with him it's called gentle jumping it's they go you go take them to a big bounce factory bounce shop you know bounce house whatever let them jump all they want while the moms you know they share coffee they talk you know but um, they have like a support group for the moms while the kids are having a wonderful time you know, having snacks and bouncing and we've wanted to do it with our kids for the longest time well for no wires um, who just moved up here is starting to do that. So we're starting that next week. Yay! So very excited about that. Um, this kids start busing next week. I'm gonna have to take them this week because it takes time to get all the bus stuff together. Um, I have a feeling there's gonna be some interesting situations with that too. I won't go into that right now because we don't know what's gonna happen yet. But it's okay. You know what? It's, it's okay because we're gonna get through this together, guys. We are gonna nail this. We always do every time we move, so. It's not the first time we moved. It's totally not going to be the last. Well, we hope it is, but <laughs> yeah. Um, try telling that to uh, the boss, uh, to Lonzie's boss. <laughs> anyway, so um, Lonzie was the first one to drive this morning. He woke up. Um, he got a call from Triton about something. So he woke up. He's like, you know what? Let's let's just go ahead and go. <sighs> um so we took off about 4.45, we, later than we wanted to take off, but it's okay, it's no big thing, we're almost there. Anyways, uh, we got breakfast at, the kids really wanted to go to IHOP, so we went to IHOP for breakfast, which is awesome, really good food, um, and all that, so we had a really good morning uh, with that, so we're just driving along here, guys. We are about two hours from being home to our new home, you guys, I'm so excited, <laughs> So, yes, I get excited when good things like this are happening um, to our family. Yes, it is a lot. It is a curve for us. <clears throat> but it's okay. It's okay. Well, we will get through it, and it will be okay. We just have to figure out what we're doing and go from there. And don't forget that, you know, God is in control here. You know, we, we know that God's in control here. So, you know... When you have a AT guy for a honey, you know that the road is going to be a little interesting at times. But that's okay. It's okay. Because even though it is interesting, it's also great. So, yeah. So, um, excuse me. Excuse me again. I've drank too much soda. Anyway. So, um, as far as schools go, we have, we think we may have figured out a few things. Um, because we have a few blind kids now, um, we were going to send them to the school here in, 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 uh, in one of the schools in New York, but the, I mean, we still could. It's going to still gonna be in New York either way, but I'm not sure how far the school is from our little town we're going to be moving to. Um, I need to check that real quick. Hold on. So here's the problem with that little picture. The closest one is in NYC, which means they would have to be bused for four hours to get to school. They'd have to stay all week at school, and then they have to come home on weekends. And that's okay. It would be okay, but I don't know that our kids would want to stay in the dorm. I really don't know. I mean, I grew up with stuff like that, but I don't know if our kids would want to do that or not. So we'll have to discuss that, because <laughs> I really don't know. Um, yeah, I, I honestly don't know, uh, what our kids are going to do as far as those kids, but the other ones, uh, the school that Triton has been working on for the past eight months is ready. Um, uh, we already had the building, they already had the building, they were just getting it together, putting things in there, getting, you know, teachers that knew what they were doing. Um, it is year round for those who need year round schooling. Those who don't, they don't have to, but if they do, it is your round that is in place for those who need it. Jace definitely needed that. Um, they did that actually with Jace in mind. So he goes, 
from what we decided this morning, we were talking about this with his group home, is he'll go to school until one o'clock and then he goes to his day program after that because the day program lasts till 4 30 or the school gets out at 2 30 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock i mean so um his bus will go earlier than most because they'll have to come and get him and take him all the way to his day program so that's about a 20 minute drive so ah, it's a lot guys it's a lot to figure out it's a lot to do but you know what it's okay we will do it. It will be done. You know, we got it. We're doing it. Ugh. God's going to take care of it. He always does take care of his people. Um, and the best we can do is learn from it. So we did. Uh, huh. Excuse me, guys. I'm so sleepy. Yeah. Um, I did. Um have our son Josh go get groceries for us. He's already there. So I had him go get groceries because he knows exactly what our family needs and what we don't need. Um, and Doug and Sarah don't really know. And they decided to go ahead and leave this morning because um, one of the kids has a doctor appointment and Doug has to get back to work. So they wouldn't have helped anyway. They wouldn't be able to help anyway. So they'll have to go back on deputation and to one of their son's doctor appointments. So Speaking of that, boy, we got the doctor marathon next week because they have to meet with the neurologist. Uh, the new one, which Dr. Foster's still there too, but Dr. Gowrie's and is doing the, like, he's an epileptologist. He does, like, the seizures and uh, the rare stuff that our kids have. He will be doing all that for them, so. <clears throat> and we got to meet with them. And a couple of our kids have to have pulmonary um, doctors, like, Daniel has it for his asthma. Um, what, Daniel? You know? When we gonna get them, Mommy? I'm ready to get home. We'll get there soon, in about a couple hours, bye bye. Mommy? What? We'll be, be safe. We'll be safe, I promise you, Daniel. We will be safe, buddy. Mommy's always there, okay? <clears throat> we have been noticing Daniel having some visual issues, um, so we have to make an eye doctor appointment for him. That's going to be fun because he hates going to the doctor. Yeah, that's going to be fun all the way itself. But it's okay. You know what? We'll get through it. It'll be okay. We'll we'll make it. Got to make it. Got to manage it. So we'll do the best we can. But, um, you know, just do what we got to do and get through it. So, yeah kids are doing okay they're you know they're a little restless because we've been driving so long but who said this is going to be easy because it, it's definitely not easy but you know do what you got to do when you can <clears throat> and what you can't do uh you try anyway try try again until you get it done so that's what we're doing I mean, this job's not going to be easy. I'm gonna, just going to tell you it's not going to be easy, but we're going to get through it. We're going to make it. We're going to do everything we can to make it through this. So, yeah. We're going to get through it. So, um, yeah. Our kids are, are going to be okay. This is going to take time to get through all the craziness. So, I, I like driving the morning shift more than I do the night shift sometimes because, especially early morning, I get a cup of coffee and get myself moving in the morning and the kids are all sleeping and everybody around you is safe and all that. I just love it. And <clears throat> Daniel's first one awake. But we have noticed that he's been squinting a lot and that's got me worried that he's been squinting um, more. So, because of that, because we have a eye disease, a blah, 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 eye disease in our family that is a concern for us because we have eye disease in our family so <clears throat> he has a woman on Wednesday with our eye doctor to discuss his eyes whether he needs glasses or what he's gonna have so mommy what I don't want to go blind so it's just a, a lot for him to take in he doesn't understand that even if he does need glasses. Well, we'll get through. We always have. We always will. <clears throat> so we're driving along, driving along. Yes, we are. 
and <clears throat> so yeah we're doing great we're gonna make it it's only just a little bit longer we just gotta push a little longer and we'll get there woohoo hey guys we're here we made it um it's about 10 o'clock in the morning and we made it finally praise god oh we man i'm, I'm whew, tired um but it's okay you know we're gonna we're gonna be fine we're gonna make it through this we're gonna get through the day it'll be all easier once everything's put away <laughs> which most of it is anyway david and them have been working feverishly to get the last few things and bits and bobs put away oh cute oh there's a picture of, of uh triton's got the way i've been looking for that picture darn it <clears throat> these are all pictures over the stairs very nice pictures notice these stairs i love these stairs because they're like a wood i ah, love them gotta have those stairs are you guys getting settled in oh daniel found his room so yeah we're just getting settled in and getting all the stuff the rest of the stuff in freya's exploring in her gate trainer hey you happy freya is this cool Freya, Freya? Yeah. So I'm just checking the bathroom to see if everything's to put. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, this table's so big. Yay. <laughs> the biggest thing we've noticed on our road trip this time is that the bathrooms, like the, the tables that you need for a special needs child um, to be changed are not that big. So these are nice. Yay. Very happy with this because they're very nice. So... Um, all our stuff is, all our groceries are here and put away. You guys, we have some amazing people in our family that are really good about putting things away. Our church came and actually helped out too. So a lot of this stuff's already been put away. We've got a few things to be put away. Hudson's diapers are going to be put away over here. So I just had to change him because he had a little problem. So I changed him. Hey, Bubba. Are you excited? Oh, look at smile. Are you smiley? Are you excited, Hudson? Yeah, you're excited, aren't you? Happy boy. So, we made it safe and sound. And really excited about that because it has been a long, arduous drive, but a good drive. You know, we've gotten through it. So now I'm gonna make coffee in our new carrying machine that um, we, were, we were given that good, went with this house actually. A friend of ours that we got this place from gave us this one, so yeah. We'll make some lunch here in a few minutes. Cause we really, I need to make some, our lunches. Um, Cause now guys, you guys are probably gonna think I'm a psycho, but what I do, and this is just a mom and me. What I do is I make lunches, um, and then I will put them in the fridge for the kids to warm up when they get ready to eat. Uh, the reason I do that is because our kids are very particular about what they will eat. So I will admit that, and I have not talked about this, but I've been trying to diet a little bit because of my, uh, it's a mom thing. All right, guys. I'm trying really hard to get more fit because when you chase kids around, you got to be more fit. So That's actually really true. I am trying to get more fit because of, well, health issues and all that. So I'm trying to get a little more fit. Not exactly what you say, a fit mom, but yeah, <laughs> trying. So what I've been trying to do is eat less carbs and more like protein. So, yeah, those are always fun to do. Problem with me is it, it doesn't always work for me. So, this has been stressful. Because stuff like that does not always work for me. Um, <clears throat> what I've been doing, uh, I haven't talked about this on my channel because I don't really discuss weight loss because most people are like, Ugh, you know, but what I've been trying to do is like small meals during the day and then at night eat a good, good sized meal. Um, so I'll eat a few small meals and then at night eat a big meal that's rich in like protein and greens 
And I started doing that lately because I noticed that if I do that, I'm not have to be a super hungry all the time. Like if I was just doing three meals, I'm super hungry about dinner time. I'm like eating way too much. So what I do is I'll do um, breakfast. I'll do, a, you know, like, okay, breakfast. Like I'll do something like uh, bacon and eggs or something like that. For lunch, I do sort of light lunch, like a, like today I'm going to be doing, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing some of this pizza that I made. It's like cauliflower crust pizza. It's really good stuff. That's my green. And then tonight, uh, or later on this afternoon, if I get a little munchy, I might get a power bar or something like that. And then tonight I'll eat my big meal. Like, um. I think, uh, from what Rich said tonight, the church is coming to bring us a meal. So, yay, I don't have to cook tonight. Woohoo! Not that I might cook in there, but there, shoot. I'm a, I'm a mom. They're my kids. I'm gonna cook. But, um, I usually will do a few small things. And then at night I eat a good sized meal. But this lunch I'm gonna have is just gonna be one piece of pizza with some yogurt. Um, it's not the best appetizing thing in the whole world, but hey, you know what? It's okay. It works. It works for me. So I'm also going to have coffee, which is very filling as well. Cause what I put in my coffee, I usually put <coughs> French vanilla, French vanilla creamer. And I use their coffee made like the powder kind. Uh, Lonzi likes the liquid. He don't like the powder stuff. So I have to use both for him. I have to use liquid for him, powder for me. Uh, Lonzi is uh, upstairs in his office trying to make sure everything's online because the Wi-Fi guy came um, on Friday and set up our Wi-Fi. Praise be to God. Um, Josh was, or not Josh, <coughs> um, David was here with for that. So that was set up. I had already, um, we had already docu-signed everything, so everything was set up to go. Messages now. Yeah. Anyway, so, you know, it's, it's one thing sometimes. I just have to get things set up. And we are online because my, um, <clears throat> my phone lit up. And we, uh, when I started it, it went, whoop, it just, it's on. So, yay, we're online. We have Wi-Fi, which makes everybody happy. Um. Kyle's in the car room, which um, Josh told you guys about the car room. Alex is in his room putting his things away. Kyle, come here, Bubba. You need to put your stuff away in your baggie, okay? Before you go play cars, all right? Mom, I want to play cars now. Kyle, look at me, please. Come here. You need to go put your stuff away first. And then you can play cars, okay? First, put stuff away. Then you can play cars, okay? Okay. I'm going. Thank you, buddy. So I'm trying to get all the kids to put their stuff away. Um, for those of you who are new to our family, uh, even though they have special needs, they do chores. Our whole family does chores. I'm making a big pot of coffee now for everybody that likes the big pot of coffee. Made some curry coffee for Lonzi and myself because it's just, I don't know, I just do it. He likes the Keurig, so we do that. But he's upstairs doing his uh, checking in with the group and everything, trying to get everything done. Because Monday morning he's got to hit it to work, and he don't want to, but he's got to. <laughs> he's tired. We're all exhausted. But you know what? it's okay. It's all right. We'll make it through it. We'll get through. It. We'll do it, right? <coughs> so now it's eleven twenty-five. No, I'm sorry, eleven forty-five. In the morning, so I was making. Sorry, my watch is still set on Texas time, but it's eleven forty-five. Yeah, so I'm getting lunches started and everything. I'm getting my lunch ready. I've already got Lonzi's uh, took it up to him because he's working, so I had to take his lunch up too. <clears throat> well, he's not on the clock, but he's just getting everything logged in on his PC. So, <laughs> excuse me. Um. And he's also in a show that he does. So he's doing the bro show. And that's on 98.6 to mix KKMX every Saturday from 2 to 7 Eastern Time. 1 to 6 Central. And that's actually true. He does do a show with our friend Nick. 
Every Saturday from 1 to 6 Central, 2 to 7 Eastern on 98.6 The Mix KKMX Server 2. So make sure you check out the Pro Show. Great show. So he's doing that. I'm going to um, get this cushion basically clean, more cleaner than what it was. It is clean, but it just needs a little bit of wipe up. Oh my goodness, you guys are so sleepy. Ah. I need to get a grip on myself and wake up a bit. That's what I need to do. So I'm just trying to get myself awake here this morning. Uh. So Keys is very happy, and our Keys is one happy boy. So. I just realized that I forgot this. I have to go pick up um, Robbie, Creed, and Jace today. I for oh, man. I forgot that. And I'm like, bushed. But oh well. I'll just take a nap and go, get him, go pick him up. Um, I'll take him for a ride for a little bit. Maybe go get ice cream or something and get then uh Right, a little more to come back. Um, but I got it. They had a really good day though, because uh, they went to they went riding around today for a while this morning. And um, on Saturdays they go get donuts at Shipley's or not Shipley's, uh, Duncan. So um, one of the guys who works at Lorenzo takes them every Saturday. So yeah. That's good. I did hear that Robbie had some, you know, he's adjusting. It's, it's just a lot of adjusting right now for him, but it's okay. So I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get some lunch and probably take a nap for a minute, and then we'll go get the boys. Good morning, or good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. Good Lord, I can't talk today. Okay. It's about 2.45, no, 1.45. I took a seriously good nap. It felt so good. Guys, it did. I'm still tired, but I'm doing better. I just looked at my phone, and they told me that Robbie had had a seizure. I am sitting here in this group home, at their group home. I just got over here, and I'm sitting here waiting for them to bring him out. He is okay, though. They said he's fine. It wasn't very bad. They gave me a rescue man, and about two minutes later, he came out of it, and he was totally fine. He was tired. But he was fine. He was a little grouchy, a little tired, but he was fine. <clears throat> so I'm just waiting for them to bring them out. And we're gonna go for a little ride, get some ice cream, because they love ice cream. So I did I did try to get Bethany to go with us. Bethany didn't want to go. We're still trying to get her to go because we really want her with us. I mean she's our daughter for goodness sake. You know, <clears throat> we might bring them home for dinner tonight. Um, we'll see how well they feel. And if they want to come home for dinner tonight, they can. <clears throat> if they don't, then we'll take them back to the group home and they can have dinner with them. So we'll see how it goes. I, I don't know. It's according to how things go with them. You never know. You just have to play it by ear and hope that what you do is right. Hi guys, we're headed to go get <clears throat> ice cream for the kids, for the boys. We, I've got Bethany. She's mad. She's in a very bad mood. I don't know that we'll you get to take her home for dinner or not. I honestly don't know because she's just not happy. Um, she's not happy with going out with us as much as the boys are. They're happy. They're excited. Um, but she is not. She does not like to sway from any of her routine. It has to be exactly the same all the time. If it's not, then she doesn't do up. Hey, guys. Hi. You guys doing good? Mommy was worried about you guys. So we're heading over to get ice cream. Ooh, I bugged my leg. And then we're going to ride around for a little while. And then I think we're going to go over to the house and see... First, I want to see if Bethany's okay. If she's not, I'll, I'll drive her home because she likes to eat what, where, whatever they're eating. Um, she likes to know what they're going to be eating and whatever. 
I always do get her tacos though, because I know she loves tacos. <clears throat> so, um, they're having tacos tonight, so she may want to go over to the group home and have tacos. I have no idea what the church is bringing. I know they are bringing stuff, and I have a feeling it might be Mexican, but I don't know. And with the unknown, uh, Destiny can't tolerate that very well. So if she is doing okay, I'll just get her some tacos and just take them to the house. We'll get her some tacos. Um, that's what we'll do, is get her some tacos, take them to the house, and she can eat with us in that way. So if that, and that, and that's totally fine. We, shoot, we can accommodate that. No problem at all, you guys. I mean, we can accommodate. It's no big thing. <clears throat> just gotta do what you gotta do to accommodate, right? Right, Bethany? Yeah. So we just got the boys uh, and Bethany their ice cream. Uh, she's seeming a little bit happier now. We got a little grump going on, but that's bad. Now she got a chocolate ice cream, huh? <clears throat> so she's happier now a little bit. So I don't know what they're bringing, so I am going to get her some tacos and just take them to the house. We're going to see if we can get her to eat with us. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we won't get a bad mood out of this. We'll see, because she loves tacos. There's a little Mexican place down here that, that has really good tacos here. So they know she's she has autism. They know that she doesn't do well um, when she doesn't know what to expect. So just driving around for a while, just kind of keeping them happy and driving around for a little bit just to kind of do what we can to keep everybody happy and good, right? Yeah. You happies? Happies, happies? Yeah. So, um, I told you Robbie had a seizure. They told me more in depth when I got to the house that he had another issue happen with one of the workers that came. Uh, she didn't really know him that well, and he grabbed her and pulled her down. So I had to have a talk with him about pulling people down. Um, if he doesn't know you and you're gruff with him, like rough with him, he will pull you down. And she's like, get up, Robbie, let's go, get up. And I'm like, I told her, I'm like, you can't do that with him with any of our kids you have to be gentle you know and she's like well i didn't sign up for this so i'm just gonna go over to the other home where they are milder and gentler i'm like if that's what you want to do fine so um our friend abby came down and she's like i'll take care of it so <clears throat> triton's best friend abby runs our group home she's one of the managers she's one of the uh pagers we have in case we have to so because we, she was a pager, she came up and she's like, don't worry about it, you know, it's okay, Robbie knows me. And then Lorenzo came up, he's like, don't worry, it's okay, you know, everything's okay. So, um, I'm happy knowing that things can be solved, if need be, things can be solved. So, you know, in the other group homes they've been in before, our group home, they had issues. But here, you know, we can work things out, and it's privately owned, it's not... Yeah, it's still high turnover a little bit because we're getting used to everything, but um, it's privately owned. We can deal with what we have to and go on. We don't have to, you know, freak out over it like we used to uh, with the other ones they were in before they came with us. So everything turned out okay, and he's happy. He was in a good mood when he got in the car. He was jazzed up and happy and laughing and making his noises, right? Yeah. You happy? So I got my iPod on. Yeah, you're happy, huh? He's happy now. He got his ice cream. He got his iPod. So we're going to go. I'm on my way back over to the house um, after I get Bethany's tacos. Um, Creed eats about everything. Um, Robbie does too, but Bethany is... And Jace does just about everything. Jace sometimes won't eat something, but I can usually find something he will eat, so. Bethany is very funny about what she'll eat. She loves her tacos. She loves pizza. And she told me she wants 10 tacos. <laughs> so I'm going to get her five to eat, you know, what she can of it, and then let take the rest of the group home for her, so. Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do, and go from there. Hey guys, so the church surprised us actually, um, wanted to take us out to dinner, so we are at 
Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Kyle, you want to tell me where we're at? We're at P uh, Mark's Pizza. Yeah, we're at Mark's Pizza. Well, pizza are you down here? And uh, good thing I brought Bethany's tacos because she would have had a meltdown if I hadn't done that. So she's happy, so we're eating the tacos. Just enjoying herself. Hi, Bethany. Yeah. You happy? Yes? Happy? Mm, good girl. <clears throat> so, um, we, we have learned over time that with our kids, you have to know what they like. You have to know what makes them tick. And with Bethany, it's usually tacos. She'll eat a little pizza too. I gave her some pizza and she wanted that. She liked it. So. She was happy. She just didn't want to, you know, in her mind, Saturday night's Italian night at her group home. That's in her mind. That's what she thinks. And if you mess that up, you know, she can get upset. So we don't, we do the best we can not to mess up that balance she has. I usually would go to see him on Sunday. That's usually what day I reserve for that. But because of the fact that we've been gone so long, I just wanted to come see him and have some quiet, you know, some time with them and the whole family together, so. Hey, Bethany, you got your little boy with you? Yeah, you like that, huh? What's your little boy's name? Frank, 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 Franklin? Oh, okay. So, um, each of our kids have a special baby because we grade them on how well they take care of it. Um, so they've been doing really well so far. Bethany, we did it for her because we want her to have a friend. Because she has a hard time communicating sometimes, so. Is that so good? <laughs> she ate my last piece of pizza. Yet you wanted tacos, you stinker, you. So another thing I've got to figure out is... Robbie sometimes will wreck his bed and he will like he'll stim and bang on it, bang in it, like he'll bang his like bang it against the wall. And even that brand new one when he just got, he's banged it sometimes, so I gotta figure out what to do about that. But yeah. So we're just having our dinner, having a good old time, huh? Yeah. Hi guys, so we just got done with dinner. I'm on my way to take them back to the group home it's almost time for them to get their meds and all that um we did discuss something new we're going to be doing with the with the our the kids uh that uh, we did decide what we're going to do as far as the um activity uh some activities that we want them to do they're going to be doing gentle jumping which is like they jump on a bounce house for a good while and have a good time you know that's going to be done and they're also going to do swimming. So they have swimming on Tuesday nights, bounce Monday nights, Wednesday nights is, uh, you know, um, we're not really sure, uh, you know, Wednesday nights horseback riding, Thursday night is, um, uh, we're trying to think of what to do for Thursday nights, but, uh, ew, bug. Friday night is like a social, kind of gathering to get them used to being around other people you know they have a hard time with that sometimes especially um our kids have a really hard time with that sometimes <clears throat> so <sighs> um i just got a call from Trayton about um our blind kids as far as school he said that they could accommodate our kids but he's thinking about uh, he's like, well, maybe they should go to the blind school up in New York City. And I'm like, I would have to drive over there to pick them up. He's like, no, they'd be bus home, Mom, every weekend. The question is, would they go here this far? Because it, it's a ways away. It's four hours away. So there's a lot of checking into that I have to do. Um, <clears throat> and it's a lot. Uh, you know, he's talking about putting a blind school in the second floor of the school. 
Uh, cause that, the, that second floor is still just mostly offices right now. But he's trying to put, you know, like, catch something together for that. Um, for right now to figure out what to do about it. Um, cause we do have certified teachers that teach braille there at the school cause it is for all, all special needs. So, um, he's just gonna put them on the second floor. Which, they has an elevator, so it's no problem there. Um, cause Elon has sight trouble. She has trouble with her eyes. So I'm like, you know, there's no way that I could send my kids four hours away to school. I'm just not comfortable with that right now. I mean, yeah, it's good for them. Okay. I get that. It is good for them for growth and all that. Triton School has dorms too. Um, they've been going, uh, he, well, it's, he just took over the school. The school has been going all year, but he just took over the school and they moved into a bigger building, um, and bigger dorms than the past few weeks. So he just took over the school and, um, changed a little bit, a few things of it, about it, but not all that much. Um, so some of the kids might want to stay in the dorm. Ezra said he might stay in the dorm some nights because of band and all that. And having to drive back back and forth uh, 15 minutes away to go get him for a band. We'll just... He'll just stay the night those nights. And that's fine. But I just... Four hours away for a child, I... Ugh. I mean, I'm not saying it couldn't happen. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but... I don't know. I, I would have to seriously think about it. I would have to seriously think about it, because... There's so much that goes into schools and what they what they can accomplish. And with our kids having not just blindness, but also autism. I mean, Jesse is blind. She has autism. She has Tourette's syndrome. You know, all those things. And she also has ADHD. So it's like there's a lot that factor in. And Obed also. You know, Obed's blind. He has cerebral palsy. He has epilepsy autism you know all that all those things factor in so Triton just called Lonzi back and said well what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have the blind school part of it on the school for blind on the second floor second third and fourth floor because the building is sixth floor it's humongous um the dorms are right off when you walk outside there's like these quad areas where the, the girl side the boy side um, and now that Trent's the director and he actually owns it now, it's going to be even better for the kids. They, they, look, oh, Tommy. Sorry, y'all. they look forward to, um, Trent being the director because he wants to make it a lot more fun. So <sighs> it's a lot. Um, it's, I don't want to talk about it because it is, well, I, I want to talk about it, but it's like, argh, it's stressful. It is super, super stressful. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it's okay. We'll get through it one way or another. We'll get through it. We just gotta try to make it the best we can. And we have a host of appointments. The kids have therapy starting up next week. Um, and we have an exam for Daniel. And we also have YouTube. No, YouTube. Um, but we have a lot of therapies and doctor appointments and all that coming up. As far as, uh, you guys are asking about updates on the SDR surgery, we do not know right now. Um, we don't know if our kids are even going to qualify for it. Trent did. He's about the only one that we know for sure did qualify for it and is going to have it. But again, we don't even know when that's going to happen right now. Things are just crazy. You know, we had to move unexpectedly because of everything going on. And it was just, uh a big rabbit mess. I mean, it's like a big rabbit hole that we went down into. And it's a lot when you're trying to manage moving, all the doctor appointments, all the surgeries our kids need to have. Like, Obed has to have hip surgery. And I'm dreading it because I know that the last time we were in the, surgery, in the hospital with him with his ankles, it was like a week and a half, two weeks we were in the hospital with him. Um, because he kept having seizures. And Elon, oh my gosh. You guys know the struggle we went with went through with Elon. When we were in the hospital with her, it was like three freaking weeks. Uh, a few times that we were in the hospital with Elon, so it's like you have to f factor in everything. And really, 
I mean, we want to be really careful about this. We want to be very calculated about will this benefit our kids? Will it not benefit? Now, with Trenty, it probably would benefit Trent um, quite a bit. It probably would benefit him because his spasms are really bad. Like, he has spasms so bad he can barely walk. Right now, he really can't walk much right now. So, he can walk, but he needs support when he does. So, he has a gay trainer. Which, we love the gay trainer because it really works out for our kids. Um, all of our kids have a gay trainer. Um, and you guys, oh my god, we showed up tonight and there were supplies, for, medical supplies for our kids right there at the door. So happy about that. There were pull-ups that were the right size, and diapers, um, feeding supplies for Peter and all that. Peter's um, Poma Court, which we were not able to get in Texas because it was, we couldn't afford it, but with the insurance we now have it's a better insurance with a bigger cap so we can afford certain things we couldn't afford in Texas so yay um Aurora's uh CBD seizure med that she has to have that she, her life depends on came I was like yes I mean it was like I was shouting I was so happy I wish I'd show that to you um I had to get an iced coffee you guys I really needed it because I was like ah anyway um, so all of her medicine that she has to have came. I was just shouting for joy. I was like, praise God. Um, you know, Elon's medicine that she takes, her CBD meds came. Um, her feeding supplies came, or her, her connections and all that, her giving sets and all that came. She doesn't use her feeding tube as much. Um, she only uses it for nighttime and also for medications. Because now some meds we give her, we can crush it up in applesauce and she'll eat it. She'll take it or we put it in a bottle, she'll drink it. But we are actually considering having her feeding tube removed because she's eating so much now. She ate, and I'm not joking when I tell you, she ate three pieces of pizza tonight, y'all. Plus, one of Bethany's tacos that Bethany offered her. So I just dropped the kids off at the group home, the boys and Bethany. She was very happy. She gave me hugs and told me she loved me. And she asked me if I'd come up tomorrow and visit them again. And I said, yes, I will. So we're going to do a regular visit tomorrow, a regular routine, drive around for a while, have ice cream, and then take them, probably take them back to the group home. I don't know yet. We'll probably do that. But as long as we do that, Bethany is pretty good. So I was really impressed that she actually wanted to go out for dinner, wanted to engage after we said, you know, Bethany, it's a new place. It's better for you. It's happy. You know, all happiness. So when she saw the family, she hugged us. And we were just impressed and very happy that uh, she wanted to hang with us. So, yay! Victory on that one, y'all. <laughs> I'm so happy. Woohoo! <laughs> so I'm going to go home and relax. I'm going to put some clothes in the dryer. And all that wash and dry clothes, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Hey guys, it's bath time! Bath time! So it's time for the kids to get a bath, and we usually will take a few at a time and get baths. Um, the older ones can be on their own, but there are some of our kids who, like, you know, Kyle, Daniel, could others do really help. So we take a few um, at a time and bathe them. So right now it's Daniel and, uh, blah, sorry. Yeah, Daniel and Kyle over here and Elon and Freya over there. So we have, they're closed off, no worries. I mean, it's, it's all closed off. You ready, Kyle? Get on in there. Oh, Daniel's ready. Yeah, there's Elon and Freya. So what we do is we shut that door over here, which is where the guys take a bath. And then we shut this one over here, the sliding door where the girls take a bath. And that way they don't see each other. That way it's safe. Cause it's full, you know, floor to ceiling sliding door, so it's okay. So we're gonna get baths. Gonna go to bathies. It's bath time, yes it is. A lot of the other kids have had baths. Um, I did check on the guys at the group home. Everything's okay. Um, they settled right back into the routine just fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, so. Woohoo on that. 
And so, yeah, they're doing good. We're all settling in, getting everything settled in here. Are you ready? Get on there, buddy. Come on, Kyle. Get in. Kyle. It's bath time, Bubba. Get on in. So it's about 8.45 at night, and I'm getting up. Two. Two. It's circled. So I'm getting everybody ready for a bath, and getting everybody in their baths, and getting them ready for bed. Um, because I want them to get in the school routine of things. Yes, it is Saturday night, and yes, technically they could stay up, but... I don't really want them to because um, it messes up their week. When they start in the week, you know, they're tired because they stayed up so much. So we don't allow our kids to stay up super late. That's just not something we allow. Our older ones sometimes will, but they're not in a situation where they have to go to bed. But these guys are. Okay, good job, Kyle. Good boy. Look at your soap. We also try to work on life skills with the kids, um, give them a chance to learn how to, you know, take a bath, wash themselves. Good job. Get your rag. Wash your body clean. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Messages now. Nick. Keep your body healthy, strong, and clean. That's right. Good job. Is that better? You happier now? Yeah. Now you like your bath, don't you? So I usually try to teach them life skills. Good job, Kyle. Daniel, good job. Daniel already knows how to wash himself. Get some stuff good and clean, don't you, Daniel? Yeah, you do. Good job, Bubba. So we always say, keep your body healthy, strong, and clean. Hair, nails, teeth, and there are some greasy foods you should not eat. Like a bugger, like a hot dog, like a side of fries. <laughs> it's something our friend of mine came up with. Um, we also heard in a movie once, too. Good job, buddy. You're so wet. You're slippery and wet. So what I do when I try to get them out of the tub is I brace myself with them. Um, I brace myself with, uh, like, a next, like, I'll let them lean you know, on me because they're slippery when wet. So Kyle's almost 6'1", and uh, Daniel was only, oh, about 4'10". Good job, Daniel. So clean. We smell so good. Get your arms, Kyle. Wash your arms. Good job. YouTube now. Daniel, good, good job. Let's see how the girls are doing here. Freya, you washing your body? Elon's getting clean. Good job, Elon. Freya, you're doing good. You can do it. You can wash yourself. There you go. Good job, Freya. And with the girls, I just left them out because, um, Freya can stand and, and like hold on to stuff, so I'll just like help her get out that way. But you and can't really stand as much. Like she can, but I'm afraid of her falling and hitting her head, so I just don't let her. I just lift her up. There you go. Good job. Good guys. I'm proud of you guys. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get these hooligans to bed. It's been a very long day. I'm going to say goodnight. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and talk to you tomorrow. Bye.